Hey loves, hello beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. It is August the 31st. We are in the last day of August. So tomorrow will be September the 1st. So let's start out with a spirit message. Let's see what's coming in for you all as a collective. Do keep in mind that this is general guys. It's not gonna resonate with all of you guys. Please do only take what? Again, resonates, all right? It's going to be for all the zodiac signs. I think I said that already. It's a collective reading, so let's see. Let's hop in, guys. Um, I'm going to start out with some spirit messages, and then we will hop into the reading. All right? So let's see what's going on. Let's pull a spirit message. I'm using the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. Let's see. Spirit Universe, what message do you have for the collective? We have number 19. I'm like the way my card bent. And it says lavender, surround yourself with love, all right? So, I love how they have lavender hanging up on the wall. Lavender does bring in, like, a lot of love. It has, like, a very common, like, smell. It keeps you relaxed. Um, lavender and amethyst go very well together. Um, they say if you put lavender, like, on the side of your bed, like, on your nightstand, it helps you, like, sleep at night. But I just feel like in this case, I feel like, um, cause they're like on a sectional and you know, like everyone's talking and they're chilling and there's candles lit. So I feel like they're like, what they're saying is it's time for you guys to like unwind and just like relax and enjoy someone's company or enjoy company or it's time to like be around friends and it's time to like, you know, just like talk and you know, maybe drink some wine. She has popcorn in her hand. The other person is like drinking tea. Somebody could have a bob and it's purple or like a pinkish color. Somebody does have crystals in their living room. Someone has a circle mirror in their living room. It could be above the couch. Or I feel like it's to the, on the right side of the wall. Somebody just put up new curtains. Okay. Or you're looking for new curtains. Someone can have like a canary yellow throw blanket. Someone does have a cat. It looks like someone has like pink in like their, their living room or their living room area. Someone may be in a sorority because I'm getting pink and green as well. I know those are sorority colors. And I feel like somebody just cut their hair and it's like very short and curly. All right, is what I'm getting with this. But for the spirit message, it's saying, you know, surround yourself with love. So like I said, with the lavender, um, lavender is like a very relaxing, like, um, energy. Like it's like, you're like calm, it relaxes you. And if you're like chilling with friends, you know, it relieves stress. So maybe you're putting lavender like in your tea. That's a good thing too. Or like lavender tea relieves stress, stuff like that. So we got that for our spirit message. Remind yourself with love. And we have the lavender card. All right, let's pull a fortune reading card and see what comes out. So way too many messages. Let's see. All right, let's see. Spirit Universe, please give us some messages for the collective with the fortune or for it. We have sun. I love this. All right. So it says, open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So you guys have a lot of growth ahead. The sun is out. The sun is shining. I love that. The sun is also about growth. Opportunity is very positive energy. All right. Let's pull one more card. One more message for the collective. One more message for the collective. We have thorns. Mmm. Weathering the challenges of head will bring in a new and positive future. Okay, so with the thorns, I feel like maybe you guys just recently went through something. See how the sun is in the background? I love that this came out because look, the sun is shining. But see how the sun is like trying to come out? So you guys recently went through some challenges. You guys recently went through something, but now the sun is out. Things are about to change. You guys have some type of positive outcome in something or you have like a brighter future. Something better is ahead of you guys. So that's good. At the bottom, we do have the key. So it says new beginnings, directions, and adventures await for those ready to let go of the past. So if you're ready to let go of the past, you guys have a lot of opportunity coming in for you guys. This can be a key to a new home, a key to a new car. Um, this can be a key to a heart. So like you, you know, mean a lot to somebody. It can be a lot of different things, but I do see a lot of new beginnings. So all the cards speak of like opportunity, growth, new beginnings, um, and positive energy. Okay. So definitely love the spirit messages for today. Let's hop into the love reading and see what's going on with you guys in the collective. All right. We're going to look at past. Um, not the past, sorry. We're going to look at, um, what did we do the other day? Or yesterday? 
I did crazy energy and then their feelings. So, yeah, we can do that. Let's see. And this will be for whoever's on your mind when you guys hear this reading. So it could be a past person, a new person, somebody that you're just talking to, dating. Take a hard day with you. All right, so let's see. Spirit Universe messages for the collective in love for today, August 31st. See, what is the current energy on the collective for today, August 31st? Messages for the collective for today, August 31st, whenever you guys hear this message. Let's see what energy is in the present. Present energy when it comes to your love life. We have the Ace of Wands reverse. We have the Ten of Swords reverse. And we have the Death Card reverse. All right, so we got Scorpio energy, the card reverse. We have the Ten of Swords reverse. So, all right, at the bottom of it, we have the Two of Pentacles reverse, Six of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. So I feel like you don't know what you want to do about a person, like a, a in regards to a situation. This is someone that you haven't let go of, or they haven't let go of you. You haven't moved on. They haven't moved on. But with the Ace of Wands reverse, there's some type of delay, some type of setback, or you guys were just on and off. And I feel like this person is, you know, they want to be back on. And you're like, you know, I'm tired of the on and off. Because we have the two of pentacles in reverse, a decision. And somebody has made a decision to, like, fully give in to this situation or wants you to give in. They're ready to, meet, you know, meet you halfway. They want to equal give and take. And then we have the Knight of Swords here. But I feel like also you may feel like this person is just, like, you know, out of nowhere rushing in, saying this. Or it's like you don't want to make a rash decision. Like, you don't want to just, like, make a decision and it not be something that you don't want. Because we do have a world card in reverse. I thought with the world card in reverse is all about, you know, the repeated cycle, the on and off between you guys. You know, like, is, are we going to be on again for right now? Or, like, is, do they do they want this as of right now? If I say no, like, would they still want this want this situation? You know, so let's see what this is about. The reason why I'm saying that is because, again, like I said, with the Ace of Wands reverse, Ten of Swords reverse, the Death card, this is a situation that's on and off. It's definitely on and off. All right, so I want to go into the depth card and reverse first and see what this is about. Let's see if this is for the collective for today. Or whenever you guys hear this message, let's see. Why is the depth card coming up in reverse for the collective? Why is the depth card in reverse? Ace of Wands. See, they want to, I told you they want to be back on again. So this is an on and off situation. So with the Ace of Wands, Death Card in Reverse, like to them, it, it's not over. To them, it was probably never over. To them, they felt like there's still something there. They want some type of new beginning with you. And they feel like things are going to be better and different, you know, more exciting, more passionate, spontaneous, you know, like just something different this time around. Let's see, Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands. Yeah. So if this person could seem to make a decision in the past and kept you on and off, then it's like they're making a decision coming into like the near future, I feel. Because we have the two of wands, we have the fool, and this is like a new beginning, a fresh start. Like starting over. Like, so, but again, like I said, this was something that was on and off. On and off, on and off, on and off. All right. So let's go to the ace of wands reverse, because this is in their present energy. Um, there could have been some type of delay or some type of setback here. There could be a reason why things are on and off. Let's see why the ace of wands is in reverse. Go to the ace of wands reverse. That's ace of wands. A lot of wands energy, a lot of fire energy around you guys. We have three fire cards. Ace of Wands reverse, the King of Swords. So, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. This is somebody that always wanted to like be with you, or always, you know, wanted to keep the relationship going. But there was something in the way of them like keeping the relationship going because, like I said again, the Ace of Wands is a setback, delay. Um, maybe it could have started out just sex, you know. But now with the King of Swords, they're like, mm -mm, this is what I want, or like I'm ready, or let's be back on again. We have the High Priestess in reverse, so I feel like they were, you know, possibly keeping secrets or keeping things from you, okay? They could have also been lying about being single at the time with the High Priestess in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. And now that this person is single, that can be why they're trying to come back and be on again with you guys. But let's see why the King of Swords is here. Go to the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? The Seven of Swords in reverse. So they're ready to speak some truth. I fight this person was lying a lot in the past, though. Even though the King of Swords is in the upright, the Seven of Swords is in reverse. So I fight you know this person to be a liar or they did a lot of lying in the past because we have the Five of Swords. Okay? So I feel like this person did do a lot of lying in the past. 
And that's why things could have changed. Let's see, why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? Because now this is somebody that wants to, like, you know, like, tell you, like, what's going on. Like, I don't want to deceive you no more. I don't want to lie anymore. I just want to be honest with you. I do want this new beginning, but this is why things are on and off between us. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse? We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they could have been caught up or stuck in a situation. Maybe at the time it was difficult for them to move forward with you. Okay. Um, they could have been going through a breakup with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Or it's telling me like they had you thinking that everything was good, everything was fine. But they were, you know, in a relationship or a situation that was upside down. And they were looking for a new beginning. But they were going through some type of bad ending. Or just going through some type of ending. So... They could have, like, you know, needed more time. Or maybe they just didn't want to tell you that. Maybe this is what you didn't know. Maybe this is what you don't know. Okay? For some of you guys. All right? Um, so, let's pull on this King of Swords. We had the King of Swords yesterday, I think. Yeah. The King of Swords keeps showing up. So, let's see. Messages for collective messages for the king of swords this is in their present energy this is the present energy let's see so we have a journey that came out okay a lot of messages hold on i'm gonna check one more time so that was journey and high honors uh that came out and something else i forgot just that fast but with the journey and the high honors, it's like just saying like they're on a new path, a new journey with the two of wands, king of swords. Um, they're focused. They're ready to give their all. They're ready to like prove themselves to you is what I'm getting. But let's see how the king of swords is here. Or they will be proving themselves to you. See the high honor card came back out. Okay. So this person could also be like in the military or travel for work. But it's like the high honor. It's like I feel like this person is ready to prove themselves to you. They're ready to show you like the best of them like they're like you know what like i'm ready i know this is what i want so let me like show and prove to you we have thief and we have message of concern mm, okay so we have high honor we have thief and we have message of concern so i'm going to go into this thief card because i feel like the thief card can also speak of like deception deceit you know, I don't fight they stole from you. For some of you guys, they could have. But I'm not too much getting that energy because I don't have any other cards around me that are telling me, like, this person, like, stole from you. You know, or took on something from you. That could have been the case. But I just feel like, um, because the, the thief card can also be, like, deception or deceit or something like that. And then we have message of concern. So it can be that this person is reaching out and they're seeing things that I feel like you're kind of concerned you know, are like you, like you, you're hearing what they're saying or you're reading a text or a message, but it's like a part of you is like, I don't know them to be a liar. I don't believe them. I don't trust them. You like, you're like, I don't believe what they're saying. So let's see why the thief card is here. Going to the thief card. See the five of swords. That's what this is about. You feel like they're trying to run game. You think they're talking a good game. You think they're lying. You think they're being deceitful. Um, because that's what they did in the past. I feel like right now, maybe you just don't trust this person. Okay. Um. And then we have message of concern. So let's see, why is the message of concern card here? Because like you're reading a message and you're just like, you're just like kind of concerned. I feel like you're just like, I don't know. Like, I don't know what to believe or it's either, like I said, the five of swords, you know, um, let's see, the message of concern. We have to pay the pentacles. So they're coming towards you guys, um, you know, like they want to talk. The pay the pentacles can be like they want to talk. You know, um, they're trying to get you to open up or they're like ready to open up. They want to talk or it's like they're asking you out or something. But I feel like with the message of concern, you're kind of concerned because you're just like, okay, like you want to talk now. You want to reach out. But let's go more into the five of swords with the thief card. But I feel like this is more about like just like some a past energy with the five of swords um, in the thief card. Maybe you just don't trust them. You know, you feel like, no, you're not about to, you know, rob me of my love. You're not about to come love bomb me and all this type of stuff. So that can also be why the Five of Swords is here with the Thief card and the message of concern. Why is the Five of Swords here? Six of Pentacles in the universe. Yeah. So I feel like because there was not an equal give and take in the past, you kind of feel like um, they're just on some bullshit. You could just feel like they're lying. 
because the relationship like violence in the past are it's like you feel like this person is selfish and one-sided and all about themselves and you feel like they're like yeah they're coming back around but I just feel like you think things are going to either be the same or for some of you guys, they did steal from you financially. They did take something from you financially. They did. Why? Because the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. Over, like, I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, you've been waiting for them to say something about it. You want to know if they're going to admit it. For some of you guys, you helped them financially and they never paid you back. Um, yeah, they could have stolen something out of your house or took something that was of value for some of you guys. Mm -hmm. So that changes things. Because somebody did steal from somebody. That part's not going to resonate with everybody. But for some of you guys, they did steal from you. And then for others of you, it's about you not getting played in a situation. Like, you're like, you're like you know what? Like, I'm not going to get played. You're not going to come and tell me, like, you want marriage and you're not serious. So you don't know what to think because, you know, like I said, they could have been lying. And this was, like, kind of on and off. But for some of you guys, they did steal. And if they didn't steal, because I'm getting a lot of different messages. If they didn't steal, you were really invested in this person and gave them more than enough. Like, it's like you gave them too much and you know it. So they could have, like, lived with you or at your house all the time. You could have cooked, like, you know, bought everything, did everything, paid for everything, like that as well okay um because i'm seeing it in a couple different ways with the thief card let's go to the thief card one more time and then for some of you guys i don't they're not going to steal from you but they see you as like they see this as like a better like they like you're you're better for them like the lifestyle and everything you have you're like a new beginning so it would kind of like be like a game i'm gonna be honest like you know, like, they know if they're with you or if you guys are back together, their lifestyle, everything will be better. You have a lot more to offer and give. You know, like, it's just, it's better with you. So, I don't feel like it's that they're going to steal. It's just that they... Let's see, why is the Seven of Swords reverse? So, I have three different situations here. For some of you guys, they did steal. For others of you, they didn't steal. And you feel like they're trying to run game or you're just like, you know what? I know how you are. You were selfish in the past. I don't know if you're really ready to come back and like, you know, really commit to me and give me this relationship. And then for others of you, like I said, this will be like a game. Like it's like they, the way you live, you have a lot to offer. You did a lot for this person and they do want a new beginning with you. But let's see why is the seven of swords reverse? Ace of pentacles and yep. See, that's what this is about. I told you for some of you guys, it's like they're not trying to look, use you, but they know like you have a good lifestyle. They like you must live nice, you know, look nice, drive nice, stuff like that. So Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So it's like at the end of the day, when, when they think about the situation, they're like, yeah, like I like this person. I love them. We're always on and off. But I know if I'm with this person, like I don't really have to worry about much because this person already has everything, you know. So that's why I said it would kind of be like a gain. But um you're financially stable. That's what this is. That's what this is about. And I thought like this person knows that they can't give you everything you may be looking for financially but they know that they come with a lot of love or they know that they have a lot of love to give show and express with the six of cups or that you guys have a connection you know so with the two of swords and the page of pentacles they already know they might not have a lot to offer or give you 
you know. But they feel like, you know, their love, I'm not going to say their love is more than enough, you know, or their love is enough, but there's a connection and they're looking past like that. They just, they want to be with you, but again, again, but then again, it's like a game if it makes sense. If you guys get what I'm saying, okay? So, um, pull from the fire intuition or with it. So I just feel like with that being said, guys, um, I would say be careful. I guess they are coming back, but I would say be careful because um, even though they're coming back, if they're not coming back to where it's what you want, I mean, I can't tell you guys what to do, but let's just ask this. Do they... Do they want to be with you just because of what you have? Let's see. For some of you guys, yes. I'm not going to lie. Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, and the, the Wheel of Fortune. So they want to be with you, you know, but on top of that, like I said, you have everything to offer. So for some of you guys, yes. It's like they're coming back, but they also feel like you guys have a lot to offer. And the Wheel of Fortune will be, you know, Knight of Cups with the Fortune. It's like, um, I mean, this is like good energy, marriage energy, you know, commitment long term. But they feel like you have everything there is to offer. Like they, you have everything that they would want in a partner, like financially, you're balanced, you're stable, you have your shit together. You know, you make good money, but you know, like, like you have the house, like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, for example, they can have like a car and a job, but it's like, you already have like the house, you already have everything established. So it's like, they feel like, okay, it'd be easier if I just come to you, move in, we get back together, you know, stuff like that. But for some of you guys, it has to do with like, you know, because you have a lot to offer. So let's see why the Knight of Cups is here. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Because this will be their feelings, their emotions, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want to move in with you. We have Temperance in Reverse. They feel like they'll be upset if you told them no. But then a part of them is like, why did I move out? Why did we split up? Like, you know, like, because the temperance card is in reverse. So it's like, somebody is like, okay, well, why did we split up? Like, that was done. That we split up and stopped talking. Our temperance in reverse is telling me that they're coming back and they're being impatient. And they're trying to rush things with you. And they want to move in or, like, move forward and, like, move towards you. Like, move forward fast. Oh, wow, I just realized that this deck has two Knight of Wands. Look, y'all, I just got a new deck. And I counted the cards. Hmm, that means the card is missing. But they need two Knight of Wands. Yep, a refund. All right, Um, sorry, y'all. I didn't even notice that. So after this reading, I'm going to see what's going on. So we have uh, the Knight of Wands and the Temperance card in reverse. So that is somebody that's impatient. All right, um... And, like, wants to move fast. Or, like I said, this is somebody that's like, why do we ever separate from each other anyway? And they want to, like, move back in or come back towards you. The Eight of Swords. And we have Justice. Yeah, this whole situation, you are on their mind. But I feel like now, looking at the cards, for some of you guys, it's like, yeah, you have everything to offer. And they're not, they don't want to come back just for that reason. But it's like, that is part of the reason. But, like, with the Eight of Swords, like, you've definitely been on your mind. This has been on your mind. And they want justice in this situation, but their way of justice is like having you, being with you, you guys coming together and connecting, you know, and they want to right their wrongs with you, all right? It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the water card at the bottom. So that's why I would say, like, be careful, you know, like, um, like, yes, they are, like, yes, they're coming back, but I would just say, like, again, like, be careful because, like, they want this, like, now, and you may not want this, like, right now, but they're coming back, like, now. You know, like they, I mean, they want to move this forward like now. So let's pull the Fire Intuition Oracle deck. Let's see additional messages for this reading for the collective and their present energy. And their present energy for the collective. We have, you are everything I want to need. Our connection is crazy. I know your ass is lying. Uh-oh. It could be an air sign, a crazy, but Gemini. All right, so let's see your, um, I know your ass was lying. The Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. But I feel like you guys might see that, though. Because, look, you might be like, okay, like, the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is somebody that really has their shit together. But they worked really hard to get here. It was not easily given to them. It took time to get here. 
you know, they went through something and it's like, this person may be like, okay, um, but not the person. I feel like you guys may see that. You guys may just be like, you know what? Like, no, like I'm like, everything is mine. So like, I want this relationship, but like, what are you bringing to the table? Like, what are you bringing towards this relationship? Okay. So I feel like a part of you may be like, oh, you just want to get back with me because of what I got or you just want to get back with me because you see I'm shining. You want to get back with me because you see, you know, I got stuff going on. Like I'm different. I'm in a different energy. I'm glowing. That can also be it. But for others of you, um, damn what I'm going to say. For others of you, when I saw, I knew your ass was lying. Oh, they think that you're lying about somebody and that your relationship with somebody is more serious. And that you're not single or like, it's like you could have a relationship, but you may be claiming like the relationship is not as serious, but it is with the Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So interesting. That's what I'm getting with the um, present energy. Let's look into their feelings. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the higher fonts. We have the seven of cups. We have the star. So they think that you are the one. They could have other suitors. They could be talking to other people. But it's like there's something about you with the star here and the seven of cups. Like they feel like you're that person. Like you're the one. Like and they do see some type of commitment or something with you with the higher font here. It could be a tourist. Okay. They see you as the person that they want to move forward with, like in a serious way, because it's the Queen of Wands. They also do like your your energy, your confidence. They think that you're very attractive, very sexy. They feel like you got it going on. You're a go-getter. Um in the past you were really dedicated and committed to them and they like that about you. So you gave them a lot, or you know, like you were just down for them in the relationship. Is what I'm also getting here. So let's see why the seven of cups is here. This is in their feelings towards you guys. Why is the seven of cups here? The nine of wands. Yeah, but you're, I wouldn't say you're making it hard or difficult, but like, it's like now that they're coming back, now that they're back around, it's like with the seven of cups, like in the star, like they, they have told you, you're the person they want to be with, but with the nine of wands and the seven of cups, you're not opening up. It's like you're not making it easy and not good, but you're not opening up. Like you're kind of guarded still. Okay. Um, why is the nine of wands here with the seven of cups? Seven of wands reverse. And we have it with the nine of cups. So like I told you guys the last couple of days, they're not going to give up until they reach their goal. And that is you. Until they feel like they are going to get you back. But they see you as like kind of guarded not so open they see themselves as like giving up but not giving up um because they want to be with you they want wish fulfillment with you mm. they may fall back a little bit with the seven of wands because you are guarded with the nine of wands but even if they fall back a little bit they're still like this nine of cups is telling me like they still like until their wishes fulfilled, they're not gonna give up. But they might fall back just a little bit though. You know, give you some breathing room, I guess. Cause I feel like someone's being very aggressive or coming on very strong. Knight of Wands could be like that. So let's see why the star is here. And this is in their feelings. Could be an Aquarius. Let's see why the star here? The Queen of Swords. They can be healing from somebody. Okay, the Queen of Swords is here with the Two of Pentacles. Hmm. They could have once thought somebody else was special or meant something to them. And they're seeing that this person wasn't. So there could have been like some juggling in the past. They could, there could have been two people involved. But somebody cut somebody off and allowed themselves to heal. Or somebody thought somebody else like meant something to them or was special to them or something. And they're realizing that person is not. Um... We do have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this person could have been emotionally unavailable to you in the past due to somebody else. And they're realizing that that person um, didn't mean as much to them or that the connection, like, there could have like been like once, like, there was love there once, but now that's changed. But, you know, I'm also getting that this person may fall back, though, um, and become emotionally unavailable to you. And it could be because of this Queen of Swords. Despite the sign. Why is the Queen of Swords here? 
the seven of wands and the devil yeah but this is only going to be like sex and temptation and giving in but when i see the seven of wands though who with this devil i feel like if they, if they're trying to get with you and you're you know like not giving in and they talk to somebody else then I feel like it's not going to be just sex. I feel like it will be, but the Queen of Swords is not going to take it like that. And it might be hard to get rid of this person or to push this person out. So they they need to be very careful in regards to that or you guys do. Because somebody is like wanting... Because what I'm seeing is somebody wants to get with somebody and they're trying, but somebody's not opening up. So the person that is trying to get with you or if you're trying to get with somebody, you're going to fall back. Or they're going to fall back because they see you as still moving forward and not, you know, entertaining them so much. And I see the Queen of Swords here. And this person could have once meant something to them and they realize that this person doesn't anymore. And that's why they were emotionally unavailable to you in the past. You know, and could have cheated and had a, a whole other situation. Or this person is going to become, you know, unavailable to you and not be so open and determined to get you. Because they're going to mess with somebody else because they're, they feel like you're not going to give in. You know, and they could have just, you know, be having sex with somebody, but it's not going to be as easy letting go of that person with the devil. Because the queen of swords to the, like, the seven of, oh, that, like, you're mine, you're mine now. Or, like, someone's going to feel like, okay, like, they're going to want more out of it. So, that's what I'm getting with that. Let's see why this queen of uh, wands is here. Very interesting. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Eight of Wands. The Star Reverse. Yep, see, you're the person they want to move forward with. But with the Star Reverse, they don't feel like you feel the same. Like, they feel like you just, like, have given up. And that can also be why the thief card is here. You can be like, yeah, you robbed me of my love, my time, my energy. You know, like, and now I'm back confident. You know, I'm all into myself. And you can't stop me. Or I don't want you to stop me. Or you're not going to stop me. I'm not going to take all those. But let's see why the stars are reverse. Queen of Wands. Some of you guys are just still going to move forward for right now. Until you're ready to open this cycle back up with the royal card and the moon. And right now, I feel like you don't know if you want to do that. All right? Because we have the moon, we have the world, we have the devil in reverse. So you have definitely freed and detached yourself from this person. This person could have been like some type of addiction or maybe you obsessed or it was somebody that like that was really hard to let go of, you know, and it took you a long time to get over them. So like where you're at right now, you're just moving forward. And I feel like with the moon, you don't know if this is something that you want right now, but I don't feel like you're going to tell them that. But in this is going on in their feelings towards you. But in the moon, we have the four of cups. There was some rejection. They let you down. See, look. And with the strength card, like I said, you are back into you. Like you, your, your self-esteem, your confidence, everything is different now. Okay? You pulled yourself together with the strength card and the four of cups. You no longer fear their rejection, rejection or like they can no longer hurt you anymore and stuff like that. You know? So I thought like you guys are just in a different energy, but... Let's, um, let's pull some cards. Let's pull some additional messages. Messages for the collective. Additional messages for the collective when it comes to their feelings. We have, I'm ready to be your dope ass husband. We have, I want more. I deserve more final answer. So, again, like I'm getting, they are coming back telling you that they want to marry you and be your husband. Or are they like, they're ready for marriage. But you're like, okay, I want more. I deserve more. Okay. Um, the answer is yes. So for some of you guys, you may say yes to their proposal, or you may say yes to this person, or they are hoping that your answer is going to be yes, that you'll take them back. Um, let's see. I start tripping when I miss you. So this person might start tripping out, you know, cause I feel like this person misses you and they're going to want more of your time. But I feel like I said, like you guys are kind of like moving forward and not sure. So that's why they might give in to that other situation. And we have, I need to book a personal reading ASAP. So for some of you guys, you may need to book a personal reading or you may be listening to most, multiple readings to kind of get confirmation, clarity, answers. And then we have, I'm on the way, I'm going to right my wrongs. So remember I told you down here, that's what they're trying to do with the justice card. They want to right their wrongs. So this person is coming towards you. 
all right so they are on their way like they're coming towards you guys but i would just say like be careful because like back here i just kind of seen like a lot of different situations so again like with that thief car i don't know in what way you feel like they robbed you or deceived you okay like they could have robbed you of something that you had a value took money you could have thought they robbed your heart like took your stole your love like you know stuff like that um and then we have you can't finesse me and we need to talk so and then look, we have, we, you can't hurt me anymore. And that's everything I just told you, all right? This person may be stalking you online, following you and stuff like that. And you're just like, dang, like, you're crazy. Like, chill, you know? Um, but I feel like with the, we need to talk, you can't finesse me. You can't hurt me anymore. I feel like you're going to hear them out or you will have a talk with them. But I feel like the talk is more about like, you know, like, you can't hurt me. You can't finesse me. Like, I know you. I know how you are. I know what you're about, you know? Um, so, like, what is it that you want? Like, you know... You're seeing all this, but da 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 da. All right, so I'm ready to be a dope ass husband. Let's see. This is somebody that you blocked out, or you're gonna block it out. You're blocking out what they're saying, or you're like just blocking it out. Like okay, like you're saying that, but you know whatever. The lovers is here, and then we have the five of pentacles. We have the queen of swords, and the ten of cups. Now, I will say for some of you guys, if you find out that they do, that they mess around with somebody else or go back to somebody else, you're just going to be like, you know what? Like, I, I knew it. I'm done. Go back to where you were. Because I see somebody possibly going back to a relationship or a family situation where there was a bad ending with the Five of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And that may also be the issue because they might, the King of Cups in reverse might be very vulnerable and emotional at the time and go back to an ex. And then it's going to be the devil with the seven of wands. And then that's going to be like difficult. Like that, that person is not going to want to let go. And then it's like their goal is to like get you though. So it depends on how they move in the situation. You know, because like now how I'm seeing it is like you, that could be why you're blocking it out. Because you're like, okay, you told me this over and over again. Let's see who this, let's see who this queen of swords is. Why is the Queen of Swords here? One to the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? See, this could have been somebody that they already lived with or were married to. The Magician. The Seven of Cups. See, somebody that they told you they ended things with. May be an option for them again in the future because they're going to feel like they're trying to give it through, but you're not giving in. So they might get back into another situation that they said was over and done with. Knight of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Yeah, see, because if you keep rejecting them, that's how they're going to feel. Because, like, the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups is, like, you having them wait forever. And, like, them, like, just feeling rejected by you, you know. And they might just, you know, like I said, they this person either doesn't want to deal with the rejection or they're going to be, like, vulnerable and give in to another person or situation. But it would be somebody that they already knew or something like that. See, and then I see the death card, Queen of Wands. I see this situation kind of like ending between you guys. Ten of Cups in reverse. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, so hopefully they play their cards right. I don't know. I don't know what to tell y'all with this situation. Yes, I definitely need to get a refund, y'all. I'm sorry because there's a Queen of Wands and then it's a Queen of Wands in the air. And I got this deck off of Amazon. I knew I shouldn't have probably got it. But after this reading, I'm just going to um, request for a refund and send it back. Because that's some bullshit. So that means there's two cards missing. So sorry, guys. But I feel like what came out was meant to come out. It was a new deck. So I didn't know. Maybe I should have looked at all the cards like I always do. But I did sage it and everything and all that. But usually I don't get double cards in a deck. So that's like very rare well that has not ever happened to me so but yes guys that's what i'm getting for the daily reading for today so yes they are coming back but be careful because like i said they don't like rejection and um but they may um either go back to somebody that they were with had a family with married with I mean, married to are, they might just choose other person and like be with that person because they feel like you're going to reject them because the queen of swords is another person. 
because they're going to be feeling rejected and left out in the cold by you. It's how they make it see, like how they feel. And with the seven of cups, three of cups, yep, see, and the three of pentacles reverse. So it could be somebody else that they're already talking to because this could be like third party energy or it's like they were talking to this person but didn't want anything serious with this person and may end up just like I said, choosing to be with this person. Yeah, they could be like flirting or talking to this person. It could be somebody at work or, you know, just somebody that they were like, you know, talking to on the side because you guys, I don't see you guys as being together. And then that's what I see happening. They might just go this route because things are moving slow with you guys and they feel like they're just like being, like they just feel rejected. Okay. So that's what I have. Loves. That is a daily reading. Um, stay dope, guys. If I resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell. If you guys um, would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. And that is a reading, guys. I'll see you in the next upload. Bye, Fire Fam.